Thought I'd do a quick rig rundown because I haven't done one for a while. Um, just finished the Sunday AM service. I'm using the YC88, using the drawbars to control the waterfall B3 in here. Let me quickly open that up. There we go. You can see the drawbars there. You can see when I move that between the drawbars, even the fastest slow rotors are doing the fastest slow. But you can see I've also got a Juno 60 on top. I've got a mini mod. If you look at the back. There we go, um, and so I've got main stage sending MIDI to the Juno through this external instrument here. Um, and then I've got the Juno running into the Revelation version 2 pedal, running into the Specular Tempest for uh, really ambient kind of reverb sounds. Um, and a little trick that I've been doing actually recently is I've been sending everything out virtual outputs 5 and 6. What that lets me do if I go to UAD is it allows me to put something on the output and I've got this little thing here um, the LA-2A there we go um, not fully mixed in but kind of kind of like a parallel compression but I'm not actually using it for compression I'm using it just for a little bit of bite and the kind of tube saturation that it gives me so yeah there you go thought I'd do a quick run through on my rig because I haven't done one in a while so yeah Hey guys, thought I'd do a quick rig rundown follow-up video just explaining some of the things I talked about in uh, that video that I recorded on Sunday, um, just inside main stage. Um, just so if you want to replicate what I was doing, um, I'll just talk you through those steps. So I'm using the Complete Worship Bundle Pro here. Um, the first thing I did was send MIDI out to the Juno um, via an external instrument. That's really easy to set up. You just hit the plus button, go to external instrument. Um, it's not showing up because I haven't got it plugged in. I'm at home now, so that'll show up if you have a Juno or another um, external MIDI instrument um, connected. Uh, the second thing, though, that I really want to show you is how to set up uh, the UID plugins on the way out. Um, so all you need to do is go to anything that says output one and two. I've already changed it, um, but go to one of those when you find it and go to change all and change all to five and six. If you've got an Apollo uh, twin, obviously, um, that will send it to the virtual outs and it will change it for all of them, not just the one that you selected, which is really cool. You don't have to go through and manually change every single output channel. So I copied everything across, the gain, the SSL compressor, Oxford inflator over to my output 5 and 6, so they're all on it. And then this gets sent to the virtual outs inside uh, the UID uh, mixer. Now by default it comes up as two separate, um, but if you go here, right mouse click and go link, it puts them both together. So you don't have to put two different plugins, one on left and one on right. Um, and this is what I'm using on my output. I really like this thing. It's an LA-2A uh, replica, obviously, tube compressor. I've got the mix um, just less, probably about 40%, and I'm not using it for compression. I'm only using it for uh, tube saturation and just gives me a little bit more bite. Um, it's really, really nice. So you can try that. If you've got other plugins, you can try whatever plugins you want. You can see here that I was trying this one out and A being it as well to see which one I like the best. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to do that quick video showing you how to set up the external MIDI and send everything through uh, to the plugins on the way out of your UID. You might also ask, well, why don't you just put the plugin on your output? Um, and the reason being is it adds unwanted latency because it's having to process it on the UID um, and go between main stage. So to reduce the latency, it's way better to uh, send it out to it and put it on on the way out. So that's the reason why, less latency.